Welcome back to As I Play Dying. Oh, right, here we are. Whatever's in this is mine. Probably <laughs> rupees. Yeah! Oh, a rupee key. That's well, what why I... would they put a key in an unlocked chest? <laughs> it has a lock on it, too. It's just not locked. <laughs> yeah. Or right, you got... You got a key that's slightly larger than the keys you carry around to unlock these chests. This <laughs> is tiny chest key. Yeah. He just carried a set of picks on him. Yep. The people who install the guillotines here go. thought it would be okay <laughs> yeah. to leave keys around. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, no one's problem. gonna use these! <laughs> Alright, what do I- uh oh. Let's see, what's going you on? You got invisible platforms towards that's your left. Crazy. And you got the key to go through that stuff. That move. Nope. The next one. The next one does. That's it. Ah! 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 Leave my face! Nice. That was not really by definition of leave. It wasn't testing my faith. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes? Did you ever read a... Oh, hello. <laughs> a Tale of Two Cities? Oh, double hello. I did. Was it good? It was, yeah, I read it in high school. I don't remember much about it. Now. Which, though, to be fair, I also read like Poisonwood Bible and The Great Gatsby in high school, and I remember those pretty well. So that might say something about yeah. that. Oh yeah, fair. You guys gonna read the new Harper Lee book? Nope. Did we talk about that already? No. Nope. Yeah, I have no desire to. Have you heard stuff about? It? I'm sure you have. Everyone has. I have. Yeah. I, I haven't even read To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, I'm. I'm okay with the concept. Like, I get why people are upset about it. Yeah. But I just have no reason to ruin my memory of Atticus. Right, yeah. Wait, so I what find is it? it? Well, hold on. For one thing, you should read To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay. Not to oh, wait, you haven't read To Kill no. a Mockingbird. But as, as a person that exists with our culture, I'm sure you're familiar with Atticus Finch. At I least know the name. By name as yeah. being like a really awesome character. I don't know what his role is in anything. No. Oh, he's an attorney, and he's awesome and wise. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's the kind of character I like to have in a story where he is... Just a good guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, in the new one, he's Apparently. Not, he's not a good guy. He's a racist. Which I actually now see... I I haven't read the new one yet, so I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do this, but I find it hilarious, and I kind of like that it happened, yep. that now everybody was clamoring for this book. Yep. Oh, yes. And yes. now it comes out, and they're like, that's not the book I wanted. Yep, yep. And, and they're all butthurt about it. It's really, yeah, I mean, obviously. The so is this a book that people knew existed but had never been published? Uh, interesting story. Interesting. Oh, you mind if I... No, go ahead. I was going to Okay. Go. Um, she wrote this book. And this was the book that she intended to write all along. And okay. there were flashbacks in this book to that the main character as a kid. Her editor said, just write the flashbacks. And this is good. This right. other part, not necessary, not great. Right. So she snatched what she had written in a... Like a somewhere where no one would find it right, had so no intention of ever publishing yeah, for it for decades. decades decades regardless of how much money she would have made and then when she's elderly and infirm and no one really knows how okay she is her publicist says oh she wants we found this and she wants us to yeah which is a it. big and valid criticism of the whole thing yeah. yeah it's it's wrong i didn't even realize she was still alive yep she was a very secluded life some people think that uh, Truman Capote actually wrote <laughs> To Kill a Mockingbird? Yeah, but Seriously? They, they, were be they were besties. And I didn't know that. Of course. Interesting. Yeah, see uh, Capote with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh. It's about the two of them hanging out. Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah. Um, oh, that okay. That's a sad story. Capote? No, just Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. That was very sad. Poor guy. Shows how you know everything, but still, you know. You take it to heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, where your friends were concerned about you. Get clean. Nope. <laughs> I will not. You do it, young man. There we go. How? Nice. I guess that was a two bomb skull. Sorry to rip open the curtain again, but how long between when we do these and the episodes come out? Okay, so... <laughs> it a fluid question. It depends. Because right now we're actually actively releasing episodes of Ocarina of Time, <laughs> this one will probably come out in about five weeks. Okay. Nope. Ten weeks. Even then, people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe these assholes are talking about the Harper Lee book. <laughs> or, you know, this thing's moved so fast. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You. 
<laughs> oh, listen, we're not here to be a news source. No. <laughs> no. Like that book from, like, 15 years ago? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so we're And on... they won't even remember to kill a mockingbird. No. <laughs> At time of recording, we are 25 episodes in. We're doing five episodes a week, and this is episode 70. I'm also 25 years old. Uh, <laughs> this is episode 71, I think. Are you 26? I'm 25. Oh, my God. Yeah, so about 10 weeks till this comes out. How many weeks till your birthday? Uh... <laughs> How many months? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, stack overload. <laughs> January, right? You're yeah, January. January. Oh, man, happy birthday. Thanks, man. It's July. <laughs> A very merry unbirthday. Oh, God, it's August! <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. Oh, fuck. Fuck. 2018! <laughs> <laughs> oh, remorse, where has my life flown to? I pull out the sword of time, and now I don't know where I am. <laughs> My penis is bigger. Than yeah. That. <laughs> I'm okay with this. A decent arrangement. I would sacrifice several years of my life for a bigger penis. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't. You but, haven't seen what I'm working with. Well, you, I mean, it can't be worse than what I'm working with. Um, <laughs> you know, five inches is average. I learned. I thought it was six. That's the most comforting statistic <laughs> I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> And, I, and, I was going to say that sounds like something that was invented by Big Penis, but, <laughs> but obviously not. <laughs> what did, oh, sorry if I'm blowing against you. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tricky. You're going to be tricky. Tricking. It's trick to jump a pit. <laughs> would it, to would jump it, a pit, that is the shit. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky! tricky. Yeah. <laughs> nice! Oh, I thought it was gonna blow you. Once nope. You <laughs> I'm gonna blow you now! Oh, you made it, damn it. No, no, get. Get, get down, you fuck! I'm would it, would it, would it be a lame joke to be like, no. oh, you're hover bo boots, I'm a big fan? What? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I think it would be, right? Uh, no, I love it. I'm into it. You always do these things uh, where you you say you something. Like, yeah, advance. you're unsure of it, and so you, you sneakily say it by saying, wouldn't it be blank if I said this, and then you say it? I think that's funny, though. It uh, is. I, that's, that's one of the reasons that I kind of love Bojack Horseman, is his character has this tendency to say a joke that isn't funny and then explain why it was funny. Ah, yeah, um, yeah. Which I think is one of the best bits ever. And no one ever does it, because it's probably a terrible bit. But I think it's great. I'm not sure I've forgiven Will Arnett yet for, for divorcing, for divorcing Amy, Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was weird. It kind of hangs over all of his work. Yeah, I suppose I can understand where you're coming from. It was... Uh-oh. Okay, you think it was him or her? Man, I don't know. Uh-oh. I mean, I think... I don't know. She was riding off that parts of Wreck High, so she right. might have been getting a lot of ass from that. Right. And so ended the marriage. Jeez, yeah, I don't know. I it, do better. it makes me sad though because I think back to the part in Arrested Development oh, yeah, where yeah, she yeah. is the soldier that the he, escalating yeah, dares <laughs> that end in them getting married. Yeah. I think are hilarious. And then he almost the divorce thing, but yeah. she, yeah, she dares him to sleep with her or whatever. Yeah, because he can't annul the marriage if yep. they've had sex. Yeah. Whoa! Thank you. Oh! You should've... Well, almost had it. I know, I should have faced it. I thought it would just lure it. work. Nope. That's what you get for assuming. You made an ass out of you. Okay, I didn't even need the fan. Nope. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Double deer. We'll have to take out these gibdos on the next episode. Oh. Of... I know, it's... So disappointing. It's, it's going a, much faster now that we're done with the water it's temple. A oh, God. Well, I was going to say this is clearly difficult, but not nearly on the level, level of the water temple. Yeah. The water temple is a different type of difficult entirely, though. Uh, are, the, are, are we done? No, we're talking still. Okay. Are you talking? <laughs> I, no, go, I'm, I'm going just... to loop back. I'm going to loop back around <laughs> to the ending, Sam. God damn it! Next uh, time. No, fuck you! <laughs> I'm going to finish this sentence. Mm -hmm.